Okay guys, so we are decluttering my pink nail polishes today, which I had no idea I had such a pink problem when it came to nail polishes, but I will say I do know that I love pink nail polishes. A lot of these are some of my absolute favorites. Decluttering nail polishes is so hard for me because I declutter them all the time. I've decluttered them at least 10 times before. I'm constantly getting rid of things that I don't like, but my shelves are over capacity, so some need to go. My goal is to get rid of 10 of these, which may not sound like a lot, but I'm really just down to the bare bones pretty much. There's some new stuff and some of my favorites, and then I'm just trying to get rid of dupes as much as I can. So um, again, I have the swatch sticks, so I'm going to kind of break it down into like light pinks, hot pinks, darker pinks, that kind of thing. So let's do it. Okay guys, so here are the kind of light or sheer pinks. Also, if you can hear the water running, Bradley's taking a shower and the air conditioning is on. So it might be a little bit loud in this video, but it's really hot and I can't help that Bradley's in the shower. So yeah, I feel like it's just way too loud. I'm gonna turn off the air. <laughs> and don't worry, the shower sound will be off soon because he takes very short showers. But I'm definitely keeping this Let's Be Friends polish from the OPI, see, told you he'd be done, <laughs> from the OPI Hello Kitty collection. This was, I think, my number one of 2016. I love it. I was obsessed with it the minute I put it on my nails and it's just incredible. So I'm definitely keeping that. And I just love having any of the ones with the Hello Kitty packaging because they just like liven up my nail polish racks. I'm also keeping this Stop It I'm Blushing shade. It is truly unique to anything else I own because it is pink, but it's nude, but it's like beige. It's just a bunch of different colors all in one and on the nails. I've worn it like three times in the last year, which is kind of crazy for me because I kind of rotate through my nail polishes a bunch, but I keep going back to this because I love it and I'm keeping it. I'm also going to keep this Hello Kitty one. This is called Small and Cute Equals Heart. It's just a really good pale baby pink, but it's really opaque and it's just a good formula. And like I said, I love the Hello Kitty collection, so probably going to keep all those. <laughs> I love this shade called I Love Applause. It's the sheerest nail polish I own and I like that it's sheer, but it's also like buildable so it doesn't doesn't need to be sheer. Um, I don't really enjoy sheer nail polish because I like for you to be able to see my nail polish. Not that there's anything wrong with sheer nail polish, it's just a preference, but I think this is beautiful. I think this would make a really nice um, bride color if you're in the market for like a nail polish for your wedding day. I think this would be beautiful because like I said, it can be sheer or you could do like three coats and build it up to where it's still sheer, but it's opaque. Oh shoot, obviously keeping my mod about you. Um, I've had this forever. This is probably one of OPI's like most famous ones. I get a lot of questions about Mod About You, about dupes. I don't think I have anything that's exactly the same. Uh, of course, a bunch of them are similar, but Mod About You, it's just the best and I'm obviously gonna keep it. I'm avoiding these four because I love them, but let's just do it. Okay, I'm gonna try to get rid of one at least. So I know I wanna keep What's the Double Scoop. This was from the Retro Summer Collection last year and I freaking love it and I'm definitely keeping it. It's a really beautiful kind of like medium toned pink on the lighter side, but just a really good formula. And I was obsessed when it was on my nails. So I'm keeping that for sure. But like I said, it looks like all the other ones. So I think I'm going to pass on this Suzy Shops and Island Hops because I remember when I got it done, it wasn't my favorite formula and I like the double scoop one better. So I'm passing it on. Oh my God, that's so sad. But you know what? It needs to be done. And I think I'm just going to keep both of these. They're different enough. This one's more of like a pale kind of lavender pink. This one's more of just like a normal pink. This is getting naughty on my honeymoon. This is from the Fiji collection. I wore this not too long ago and I was obsessed so I'm keeping that. And this is one of my favorites of all time. This is Pink Friday from the Nicki Minaj collection which was a very long time ago but this is one of my favorite pinks of all time and um, that's kind of sometimes why I buy pinks to see if I can find a dupe for it. And I would definitely say that What's the Double Scoop is close. Pink Friday is a little bit darker, a little bit more of a rich pink. But if you're looking to get close, because I'm sure you can't find Pink Friday anymore, but if you're looking to get close, What's the Double Scoop would do the trick. That looks like crap, but I'm just trying to get in closer. I know I'm gonna get rid of this Essie Skinny Dip. I think this is part of their Wild Nudes collection. Um, I, they sent it to me. It's just a little bit too sheer for me. Like I said, I don't really wear sheer nail polishes. So I'm going to pass that one on. I think I am gonna keep Essie Fiji for now just because it's such a classic color and it is, it is beautiful. It's nice and opaque. It's kind of like a really nice light, almost kind of sheer pink, but then it comes off opaque. So I'm gonna keep that one. Ugh, I keep Princess's Rule every time, but then I never wear it. I'm, I'm so on the fence on that one. But I think I am going to pass on these two Essie polishes. I haven't used them yet and I have a lot of dupes for them. This one is Excuse Me Sir, S-U-R. It's really beautiful. It's kind of more like a peachy. Ah, but now I'm on the fence. <laughs> I hate decluttering. I just have too many things like it. So, okay, I am going to get rid of it. So Excuse Me Sir is going and so is Groove is in the Heart. They're both beautiful opaque pinks. I just have too many pinks and I'm going to pass them on while they're new. All right. Okay, this I literally don't know what to do. 
I might just like put it in a maybe file because I can't even deal with deciding. Like I know it's a classic and everybody loves it, but like I will never wear this maybe? Like it's just so sheer, I don't think I'll wear it. I can't even decide right now. <laughs> okay, so now we have some of like the darker pinks and hot pinks. So I know I'm going to keep this one. This is actually what I have on my nails right now. I just got them done. I am obsessed. I am so impressed with this color. It blew me away. It was such a beautiful formula. It's just kind of like the perfect Barbie hot pink for summer. And this is from the new California Dreamin' collection. Love keeping that. Oh, I forgot to put down the swatch sticks. I know I'm also gonna keep this Essie Sivu Play. I just got this from them. This is from their summer 2017 collection and it is beautiful, so I'm keeping that. Okay, when I was swatching these, I thought they were gonna be dupes and they are really similar, but I was praying that they were different enough that I could keep them because I'm obsessed with both of them. This is Look at My Bow from the Hello Kitty collection and then this is Sparrow Me the Drama, which is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which came out such a long time ago, which was probably my favorite collection of all time. I still own all six of them and I just couldn't part with either of them. This one is a hair darker than that one. The same kind of tone of like a mauvey pink, but the Sparrow Me one is definitely darker, so I'm just gonna keep both of them and you're not gonna judge me. I have gotten rid of five already, or four. I can I can do this, I can get rid of 10. Okay, I love this shade. This is from the OPI, obviously, Coca-Cola collection a couple years ago, and I love this shade. I actually pass up on any shade that looks like this because I just love this one too much. Uh, I didn't even say the name. This is called Sorry I'm Fizzy Today. It is beautiful. It's kind of like a corally orangey pink, and it's just so unique and I freaking love it so I'm keeping that. Where's my swatch stick for this? Oh it's right here. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is short story. It's probably my favorite like darker pink of all time. The best formula and this I think is part of their classics collection so it still can be found. It is beautiful. I highly recommend it. I am going to keep these two for now. Um, they're both new to me. This is um, Excuse Me Big Sir which I just had on my nails last week and it was beautiful. Kind of like a corally peachy nudie pink. It's just very interesting and that new California Dreamin' collection is full of just like pinks and reds and different takes on them and it's really cool. And this one as well, this is called Barking Up the Wrong Sequoia. It's kind of more of like a peachy color. I didn't know what to put it with. It's just very interesting. So we'll see where it goes on the rack, but I decluttered it with this because I knew I was keeping it. I think I am going to get rid of this Backseat Besties. Again, because it's brand new, I haven't touched it. And it's kind of along the same lines of like the Sparrow Me the Drama or the Look at My Bow. It's just that kind of like blue toned pale pink. It's beautiful, but I'm going to pass it on because I haven't touched it. I am going to keep this one because I love it. It's kind of a little bit darker than most of my like pale pinks. This is Susie Nails New Orleans from the New Orleans collection. I didn't love a whole lot from that collection, but I did love this one. So I am gonna hold on to it for now. We'll see you next time. <laughs> this is Essie Boom Boom Room and I love it, but I feel like I have so many pinks now and this is not in like the best condition and it kind of dried funny. Oh, and it's kind of like an exact dupe for what I have on my nails right now. I think I'm gonna toss it because it's just like not in good condition when I opened it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I cannot believe I'm getting rid of Boom Boom Room. Like I love this one, but I haven't reached for it in years. So it's going. I'm gonna hold on to this hotter than you pink. Um, it's kind of like a metallic shimmery hot pink, which I normally wouldn't gravitate towards, but I tried it anyway, and it just has the most beautiful like blue toned pink underneath like shimmer effect. Like it's gorgeous on the nails. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I think I am gonna pass this one on. It's beautiful. I just never see myself wearing it and I'm kind of confused as to why I bought it in the first place. So I'm gonna pass this on. This is Can't Hear Myself Pink. I don't even remember what collection this is from. So gonna get rid of it. Okay guys, and lastly we have kind of mom magenta darker pinks. A lot of these are new to me from Essie. I'm definitely going to keep Steady As She Rose. This is another one from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. It's a beautiful dusty rose mauve color and I'm definitely keeping that. I definitely want to try out these two. I haven't tried them yet but I love both of them. This is called Clothing Optional. This is from their Wild Nudes collection. It's not even really a pink but it is more of like a mauve brown but it is beautiful and I can't wait to try that more towards like fall. And this is Mrs. Always Right from last year's Bridal collection. It's kind of this really nice like darker brown red color and it is beautiful and I can't wait to try it. Can't believe I haven't tried it yet. I'm on the fence about this one. I feel like I have so many like this but it's so beautiful. I don't know. I feel like I should try it first before I like just give it away. I am gonna get rid of this Baja moment when I have a lot of magentas and I don't wear them that often so I'm gonna pass this one on while it's new. Let's see. See, I love all three of these, but I'm gonna try to get rid of one of them because they all look really similar. I know I'm definitely keeping this Berry Thought of You. This is from one of their neon collections and it was like life-changing at the time and I still love it. It's kind of like a more sheer formula. It's definitely one of the ones I think they meant to put over white polish, but it works even if you don't do it. It's a beautiful, just kind of like bright yet deep berry color and I love it. I think I'm gonna get rid of Girls Love Ponies. This is from the Mustang collection and it is really beautiful. I just think between the two of them, I would pick 
apartment for two. This is from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. They're really similar. This one's a little bit deeper, richer, more of like a raspberry shade, and I feel like I would reach for that one over this one, so it's going. Okay, that was nine. Shoot. Can I get rid of one more? I don't know. Oh, I am keeping this. We knew that. I, I'm definitely gonna keep Flowerista. This one is beautiful. It's definitely much darker once it's on the nails than it looks in the bottle. This, I guess, could have gone with purple, but it kind of looked magenta-y to me, but I'm definitely gonna keep it either way. And then I think I want to give this one a shot. I think it's really pretty, and it would be nice for, like, the fall time, and I just, I want it. So I'm gonna try it, and then we'll see how I feel. And although this pains me, I've literally had it for so long, and I've never worn it, so I'm going to get rid of it to hit my get rid of 10 gold. Okay, so here is my keep pile and here's my getting rid of pile. That is 10. I did it. I nailed it. Which 10 doesn't seem like a lot, but that's definitely going to clear up some space on my nail polish racks. And I know I have a problem, but just keep in mind, this is what I do. A lot of this is sent to me and I just love nail polish too much and uh, I'm just not going to try to justify it anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to see more declutter videos, I will link my playlist up in the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon and I hope you have a good day. Bye.